Hey guys, we're here at the um, inauguration. It's the most bizarre scene you ever saw in your life. <clears throat> There's like a hundred people at the Biden inauguration. <clears throat> and um, it's dystopian. So, there's nobody here. There's like more people up here with the press overlooking the Capitol than there are at the inauguration. Uh, we're here with Fox News and CNN and <clears throat> this guy, great. This guy, Eric, is great from TBN. He's a Middle East correspondent. <clears throat> really great coverage. Um, you know, conservative. So, again, it's freezing here. It's like 25 degrees. It's snowing. Um, Kamala Harris and Amy Klobuchar just spoke. <clears throat> there are more people at the West Palm Beach Airport waiting for Trump than there are here at the inauguration. Uh, truly an incredible time in our history. You know, I've been to past inaugurations for W and Trump. You know, there were 500,000 to a million people at each event, and even Obama got close to probably 700,000 or something like that. Um, it's eerie, you know? It's the first time Biden got thousands of people to his event, but they're all National Guardsmen who were forced to be here. Um, there is no security threat down here. Uh, it's just a lie. And I think they brought in these 25,000 troops because Biden couldn't get enough people to his inauguration, and it's a cover. Uh, it's very sad. Um, I was going to come on here and try to be funny, but <clears throat> I'm actually sad. Um, this place is a ghost town. All of D.C. is a ghost town. Their businesses have been pummeled by these lockdowns and all these um, problems. And, uh, you know, the truth is going to come out. <clears throat> so Biden's going to leave here and go over to the uh, Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. Um, then he's going to go to a big party run by Tom Hanks and his wife at the White House. Um, I'm trying to hold back the vomit. <clears throat> So, but Real America's Voice News has the best coverage today. Uh, Steve Bannon and Raheem Kassam are on fire on the war room. Uh, John Solomon got a document dump, um, and it's so incredible, uh, the stuff coming out about the fact that Christopher Steele made up this whole thing as a cover. Um, it's verified now, and the real story is coming out that the whole Russia thing was a setup. So they're playing the national anthem at the Capitol right now. Again, there's nobody here. It's the weirdest, most strangest thing ever. And I wonder if we're ever gonna be allowed to assemble outside of the Capitol and the mall again. Um, <clears throat> so stay with us. Turn on America's Voice News. We're the only ones telling the truth, except for one or two other networks. And uh, we're going to stay with this, okay? I'll catch up with you. Ciao.